Hello friends, welcome to Storytime with Teacher Julian. Today's book, Sam Helps Recycle. This is the second time we're going to read it. I was so inspired by this book that I made myself a little box. Now, what can I use this little box for, you ask? Well, this little box is going to, is for things like old pieces of cardboard that I will recycle. So I have a few of those that I took from this box. I'm going to put them in there. Plus, I have some paper that I had written a lot of notes on that's going to go in my recycle box. I had some nuggets, chicken nuggets, and the paper is clean. I can put it in there as well as the napkin that can go in there. I also found this. There is no tape left in here. But, if I take it apart, look, there's a piece of paper, and another piece of paper, a green paper in here, like that. Plus, I do believe that these, they're plastic. I can put those into the recycling. And this one, I could put it in my recycle box, but this is going to go into my loose parts box, which means this is something that we can do an activity with. So I'm going to put this one in my other box. Yeah, so I can recycle some things and I can reuse some things. So I have my recycling box. I'm going to put it over here off to the side. Our book, Sam Helps Recycle. Written by Judith Bauer Stamper. Very inspirational. It made me want to recycle. I hope it makes you want to recycle as well. I was just wondering, um, do you recycle like Sam? Think back to the first time that we read this. How they sorted everything out and put them into different bins. Well, I, I have not sorted it out, but I put it into this one bin. And then when I go outside, I will put it in the bin that it belongs to. But I know that all that stuff gets recycled. Okay, well, let's get started. Sam helps recycle. Sam helps recycle. Remember, three bins. This one has paper. This one has a glass bottle. And that one has a plastic bottle. And there's Sam, ready to help. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm helping Maya and her mom recycle our trash. I hear Maya calling me now. Gotta go. He says, woof. And you can see that Maya and her mom have a blue bin with, um, looks like plastic bottles, paper, and maybe some little cardboard boxes there. They're putting that all into one bin. Some of our trash goes into garbage cans. The rest goes into recycling bins. Maya has a big stack of newspapers ready. Wait a minute. I have to get that newspaper I hid behind the bushes. I'll put it in the stack. So when Sam is talking about a bin, this little box right here is the bin. Um, a bin is something you can use to collect something. So they're using this plastic one. It has a recycling mark on it specifically for recycling. You remember the box that I made? This is just a regular box that I put the recycling tab on it. But I know that this is for recycling. This is my bin. Cans and um, glass bottles are next. We put them into a separate bin. See, so they're putting paper into one bin, bottles into another bin, and cans into the next. So they're separating as they go. Hey, they are throwing away my dog food. No, it's okay. These cans are already empty. There's his dog food. He's putting it with the cans, aluminum cans and dog food cans. Bottles, glass bottles.
Plastic goes into the last bin. I run to get a bottle I left in the yard. I don't want to litter. When I come back, I get a surprise. My food bowl is in the recycling bin. Why are they throwing my bowl away? Oh, he's so sad. He says, sniff. Well, Sam says that he wants to go get the, um, the bottle he left in the yard because he doesn't want to litter. And what does litter mean? Well, litter means that when you get just all the stuff and throw it all over the place, that's littering. You want to make sure that your trash goes in the trash can. Recycling go into the recycling bins. That way it's not all over the place. Littering is a big mess and it's not good for anybody. Yeah. Before I can save my bowl, Maya calls me to get into the car. She says we're going to the recycling center. We're also bringing old batteries and unused paint. It's not safe to keep them around. Look if they got that whole car all filled up with all the stuff to fit in here. I wonder if Sam's going to fit. He has so much recycling. In some towns, sanitation workers pick up the trash on one day and recycling bins on another. Where we live, we do our recycling ourselves. Maya's mom starts the car. Here we go. They're putting the sanitation workers putting the bags into the back of the garbage truck. Maya's mom says that each person in the United States produces more than four pounds of garbage a day. That's enough to make more than 60 thousand truckloads of trash. I wonder where does all that garbage go? Do you remember? I soon find out we drive by a huge landfill. My nose can smell it a mile away. Fafafuchi! Maya's mom tells us that a landfill, landfill is a deep hole dug into the ground. It has a lining of clay and plastic at the bottom. The lining keeps the rotting garbage from leaking into the groundwater. Yuck! There are big bulldozers pushing huge piles of garbage that have been dumped at the landfill. The trucks pack it down with their wide tires. So when Sam says that the bottom, at the bottom of this landfill, there's clay, well, clay is dirt, but the dirt is kind of a, a wet, slippery dirt. And that with the plastic makes sure that water that goes down and the yucky stuff, it doesn't go down to where our drinking water is, right? So it, it, it's a layer of plastic and clay. The clay is the slippery dirt. I've heard Maya say that there's just too much trash to put into the landfills. She's right. That's why we have to recycle paper, plastic, cans, and bottles. All of these things can be reused and turned into new things. I'm glad that we're at the recycling center, but I'm still worried about my dog food bowl. I watch while some people put their newspapers into big containers. Then Maya and her mom dump their newspapers. My paper goes in too. So they're putting in newspapers, uh, little boxes and things that go into the paper bin. So when I recycle paper, I have big stacks of paper like this that I write notes on. and. It has a lot of words on it. I can't use it for anything else. So I will put this into my recycling bin. I recycle my white paper. A sanitation worker comes over to pet me. He tells Maya that recycling paper saves a lot of trees and lots of energy too. He explains that a recycled paper gets packed into big bales 
that go to a paper recycling factory. Now, you see, I'm going to move this very close, these, these rectangles right here. All of these rectangles, all of these, you can see it coming out of the, the press. These are bales of paper. It means that they get the paper, it goes into a machine and it mashes it into a rectangle shape. And then they wrap it up a little bit so it won't fall apart. And that is a bale. You can bale paper, you can bale hay, straw, a lot of different things. You can even uh, bale metal and you all put it together into that rectangle. It makes it easy so you can stack it, store it, and move it. That's why you want to put it in that shape. At the factory, the old paper is turned into pulp. Then it goes through a machine that turns out miles of new paper every day. Now, it says that they make pulp out of this kind of material. So pulp is paper that they get wet and then they mash it up or they chop it up into small dinky little tiny pieces, a lot of it. So all these different pieces of paper get chopped up, mashed together, wet, chopped up, and then it goes through a machine and the machine will tear everything apart, put everything back together, and it comes out as paper. And cardboard, a lot of anything you can make out of paper, you can make out of recycled paper products. Pretty good, huh? Next, Maya's mom adds our bottles and cans to a big pile. A front end loader scoops them up and dumps them into the back of a truck. It makes a horrible racket. I wish I could cover my ears. He says, yikes, yelp. It means it hurts his ears with all that loud noise that's being made by the bottles. The worker says that the bottles and cans will go to a sorting facility that separates the glass and the metal. Then they go to separate factories to be recycled. So, bottles over here, cans over here. And they separate them. So separating means just that. That they are taking them apart. They take all the bottles over here, all the cans over there. They're separating them. You want to see? Okay, here we go. I have a can, a tea can, and I like to drink juice. So we throw those into the bin, and when they, at that center, they will separate them. Plastic bottles over here, aluminum cans over here. They've separated them, and now they can go to wherever they need to go so they can make new bottles and new metal cans. At one factory, the glass bottles are crushed and melted into liquid. This liquid glass is poured into molds to make new bottles and other products. So, these bottles right here, they're made out of liquid glass. When I go to the recycling center, they make me get my clear glass, the ones that you can see through like, like this, like glass, and they put them in one, one uh, bin. And then any green bottles into another bin and brown bottles into yet another bin. So I have now separated again so they can use the clear glass to make clear bottles, brown uh, glass to make brown bottles. Make sense? The cans are taken to a different place. Before they leave the sorting center, though, they are crushed together into bales. You remember what bales are, right? That's right. They're those rectangular shaped things that all of them, everything gets mashed together in. They are taken to a factory that recycles the metal. Recycled cans are made into new cans that can be recycled all over again. So, Remember my uh, uh, aluminum can with tea in it? Maybe this was a different kind of can before. And they recycled it and made it into this tea can. Again and again and again. Recycle. Pretty good, huh? 
Maya's mom unloads the plastic last. I see my dog food bowl sitting on top of the pile. The worker tells us that plastic bottles take up a lot of space. In some landfills, they may never decompose or waste away. That's why it's really important to recycle plastic. And he says, whimper. That means that he's sad. He's sad because he's losing his dog food bowl. So, remember in the landfill how things decompose and they rot and then it goes all to plastic doesn't do that it just sits there it's not going to change into anything else it's not going to decompose or rot or anything like that it's just going to stay the plastic if this bottle goes in the landfill it stays this bottle if you threw a sandwich in there a sandwich will last a few days it'll get wet it'll get mushy it'll they'll run over it and it'll decompose and rot no more sandwich just yuck the bottle will stay a bottle forever. Recycle, recycle, recycle. He says that plastic is sent from the recycling center to a factory. First, the plastic is clean. Then it is chopped up into little pieces. Finally, it is melted down and made into new plastic products. So, again, these things, plastic, even the tops, they take all that and they make it into something else. The little piece of plastic here we have, this could be recycled. We're going to reuse it, but it could also be recycled. And then look, they are making new bottles out of that plastic. Some of your toys might be made out of plastic that is recycled. And look, on our way home, I worry about my bowl but I still feel good about recycling. When I go into the house, I get a great surprise. Dun, da, da, da. Maya shows me my new red bowl. She points out the recycling symbol on the side as she fills it with food. Look, recycled dog food bowl, excellente. And he, look, he says, yep, yep, because he is very happy that he is recycling and that he got a new dog food bowl. While I'm eating, Maya and her mom talk about other recycled products. Maya's notebook comes from recycled paper. Some clothes are made from recycled plastic. Even some playground surfaces are made from old tennis shoes and rubber tires. Well, there you go. After I finish my food, I head straight to my doggy bed for a nap. Recycling is a lot of work, but it's worth it. What a good dog. Recycling, helping out, helping you, me, and the environment. In the end, there's the back of the book. Sam helps recycle. Oh no, Sam, the family dog, is eager to help with recycling. But he's worried when he spies his beloved old food bowl perched on top of the pile. Where will it go? Follow along with Sam as he traces his bowl's journey to the recycling center. The end. Sam helps recycle. So friends, I thought it'd be fun if we went back through the book and look to see what items can be recycled and then we can write them down on a piece of paper. Now, I could have went out and got a brand new piece of paper and used that, but instead, I have another piece of paper that I had laying around with some scribbles on it and some writing on the other side that um, I figured we might as well reuse this piece of paper and then after we write our our list on it then we can recycle it because yeah we might as well do our part right so the first thing is gonna be what is this that's right this is paper so, I'll write that down first. Paper. And next, I see our green glass bottles. So, I will write down glass bottles.
glass bottles. And next, I see we have metal cans. So we can write metal cans. There's our metal cans. And remember, all the way on top here, we have our plastic bottles. So we'll write plastics. Plastics. Was there anything else that you could remember in the book, especially from last time that we read this? There's something else that there was that they used again. They recycled it. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. That's right. The tires. They recycled the tires and they put those on the playground, remember? So we can put tires. There we go. We have paper, glass bottles, metal cans, plastics, and tires. That pretty much is it. Even, even though we have plastic bottles, remember the recycled Sam's dog food bowl, right? That could fall under plastics. So now we have our list of things that can be recycled. And now you know at your house that you can follow along with this list and use those items and then put them in the recycling bin. Okay? So friends, I hope you enjoyed reading that book. I enjoyed reading it with you. And I would hope that you would start looking around your house, looking around your things, and deciding what you can recycle and what bins, paper, plastic, and metal will go into. Try it. You'll be a big help around the house. That's all I have for you. Until next time, I will say goodbye.